It's no surprise that the Summer Student Fellowship Program at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution is one of the most sought-after gigs for undergraduate science majors around the world. It's a chance to spend a summer living in a picturesque seaside village on Cape Cod, which also happens to be home to one of the world's premier centers for ocean science research, engineering, and education. Launched in 1959, the highly selective program has just celebrated its 50th anniversary. It brings bright, talented students to Woods Hole. They attend lectures by Woods Hole scientists to learn more about ocean science. They get paid to conduct independent research and work alongside world-class scientists. They leave after the summer with a better understanding of what studying for a PhD and being a professional scientist are all about. Several current Woods Hole scientists were summer student fellows once upon a time and now advise summer student fellows themselves. Former summer student fellow Hanumant Singh is now an associate scientist in the Applied Ocean Physics and Engineering Department. Singh worked with Northwestern University student Clara Smart, who spent the summer devising a new kind of reflector light for deep sea vehicles to take better underwater photos. The 28 summer student fellows in 2009 were a dynamic group of seniors and recent graduates with majors ranging from mechanical engineering to geology to history. They came from as close by as Boston and as far as Canada, Thailand, and the United Kingdom. They all shared a passion for science and a keenness to dive into whatever their advisors gave them. Summer student fellow Rose Cantor from Carleton College worked with marine chemist Tracy Mincer on a cruise to Clayoquot Sound off Vancouver Island to study how marine bacteria communicate. The cruise involved collecting samples of marine particles and bringing them back to Woods Hole to culture bacteria in the lab. Cantor sequenced the DNA of the bacteria they collected to identify what kinds of bacteria were present. Another summer student fellow, Eleanor Bors, a student at Oberlin College, went on a voyage with her advisor biologist Tim Schenk. They journeyed to the Mariana Trench in the western Pacific Ocean on board the research vessel Kilo Moana. The expedition marked the first deployment of NERIUS, Woods Hole Oceanographic's new deep-sea exploration vehicle. NERIUS provided an exciting opportunity to investigate previously unexplored territory and deep-sea creatures that no one has ever collected before. Back in Woods Hole, Bohr's worked on genetic methods for identifying larvae of deep-sea animal life. Summer student fellow Garrett Mitchell from the University of Maryland worked in the lab of marine volcanologist Adam Sewell. He developed a photo mosaic from hundreds of seafloor images collected by a deep-sea exploration vehicle called Abe. Mitchell's job was to organize the individual images to create a big picture of the area. Then he colorized them according to the lava flow structures he observed in each photo. The goal is to devise a new technique to see how lava flows continually repave and shape the seafloor. The summer student fellows live together in cooperative housing at the barn in the village of Woods Hole and on Oyster Pond near Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution's Quisset campus, giving them a chance to socialize and exchange ideas with one another. Tara Hetz from St. Lawrence University said, It's been so fun getting to interact with people my age who are interested in the same things. Hetz worked on lobster fisheries with research specialist Hauke Kite Powell in Woods Hole's Marine Policy Center. Eleanor Bors put it another way, You can totally nerd out, and people love it. Reflecting on their summer experiences, the fellows gave long lists of highlights. Abigail Labella and Kara Manning said they learned techniques that most students wouldn't learn until graduate school. Labella, a senior at American University, investigated hormone pathways in fish exposed to potentially hazardous chemicals. Manning, from the University of Victoria in Canada, examined how nitrous oxide, a potent greenhouse gas, exchanged between the air and water in a local pond. Willie Goldsmith, a Harvard undergraduate, worked in biologist Simon Thurrell's lab on basking shark migration. Most of the fellows ended the summer with a stronger sense of their interests as scientists and their future career plans, as well as a keener sense of the state of our world's oceans and humans' relationship to them. 
Rose Cantor said that being at Woods Hole definitely broadened her perspective on how interconnected things in oceanography are. Sam Zipper, a recent Pomona College graduate from Washington State, said, It has definitely been good to experience what working at a research institution is like. It's maybe the most fun summer of my life so far. <laughs>